It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to learn how to write a proportion where we take a quantity and a cost and determine for a different quantity what that different cost will be. Here's our question today. We have a babysitter who bought six cans of juice for a total of $4.50. Each can of juice costs the same amount. We're asked which of the following proportions can be used to find C, the cost in dollars, of four cans of juice and you have four answer choices to pick from. So go ahead and pause the video here and then come back to see my work. Welcome back. Again, we're looking for a proportion to represent this real world situation. When we write a proportion, we're gonna have a ratio compared to a ratio that we form an equivalent set of ratios, which is a proportion. So we're gonna compare the juice to the cost. So how much juice did we buy and how much did it cost? We're told that each can of juice costs the same amount so we can compare it in this manner. So an equivalent ratio to an equivalent ratio, all right? Here we go. We're gonna determine first that we have six cans of juice for $4.50 and our ratio is gonna be the amount of juice to the cost. So we're gonna take six cans of juice that goes in our numerator of our ratio and that six cans of juice is gonna cost us $4.50. So this is our first ratio, six cans of juice, $4.50. Reading further into the problem, we wanna find C the cost for buying four cans of juice. So again, juice is our numerator, so four for four cans of juice compared to the six cans of juice over here, and then our unknown, our C. We don't know how much four cans of juice cost. We would use this proportion to solve 4C. But we weren't asked to solve for this problem. We were just asked to determine the correct proportion. Looking at our answer choices, I can see that choice A is six cans of juice for $4.50 is equal to four cans of juice for that unknown cost. And there you have it. That is how we write a proportion to determine an unknown amount. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you come back soon and have a great day.